नमस्कार इन टूडे सेशन लेट एस डू एन एक्टिविटी एक्टिविटी वन सर्किट करेक्शन एम ऑफ दिस एक्टिविटी इज टू ड्रॉ द डायग्राम ऑफ गिवन सर्किट कॉम्प्राइजिंग ऑफ अ बैटरी दैट इज अ डीसी सोर्स रेजिस्टर रियोस्टेट सिंगल की एमीटर एंड वोल्ट मीटर mark the components that are not connected in proper order and correct the circuit diagram all right in case after correction if the circuit is to be connected then the needed apparatus will be a dc source resistor rheostat single plug key ammeter voltmeter connecting wires and a piece of sandpaper to clean the leads of the connecting wires but today in this activity we are doing only circuit correction all right so this is the given circuit diagram where as you know e is the battery or dc source x is the unknown resistance k is the single plug key R H is the rheostat, V is the voltmeter, and A is the ammeter. Let us consider the given circuit and identify the wrongly placed components in the circuit. So let's consider this circuit and let's get started. You can see there is a unknown resistance X placed. in series with the dc source and a key is connected in parallel with the resistance x okay when we insert this key the resistance in this branch will be almost zero that means resistance x will be way larger than the resistance in this branch okay so when the key is closed the current will flow through the key and not through the resistance x that means resistance x will not have any role to play in the circuit this indicates that the key is wrongly placed now the key acts like a switch in the circuit and puts it on or off hence the key should be placed in series in the circuit so let's do it remove this and place the key in series with the dc source all right now we have corrected the key we have seen that voltmeter was placed in series but voltmeter has very high resistance ideally infinite resistance right so if voltmeter is connected in series current in the circuit will be negligible all right this indicates that the voltmeter is wrongly placed and voltmeter should not be connected in series in the circuit all right now voltmeter is used to measure the potential difference between any two points in the circuit so if you have to measure the potential drop across this unknown resistance then the voltmeter should be connected in parallel with resistance x right so let's do it what was the position of the voltmeter it was this way right we placed the voltmeter in parallel with the resistance x correct now let us check the polarity this is marked as the positive terminal of the voltmeter 
and this one is marked as negative terminal of the voltmeter. Correct? As we have already discussed, voltmeter is used to measure the potential difference between any two points in the circuit. So, which are the two points across which we are measuring the potential difference? This end of the resistance and the other end of the resistance. Right? Out of them, which one is at lower potential? You can see that negative terminal of this source is connected to this end of the resistance. And after completing the circuit, the positive terminal of the source will be connected to the other end of the resistance. So, out of the two points, this end or this point is at higher potential than the other end of the resistance. Now, what does this positive terminal of the voltmeter mean? It means while measuring the potential difference, this terminal should be connected to that point which is at higher potential. And this negative terminal means it should be connected to that point which is at lower potential. So, is the condition fulfilled? No. Hence, this term positive terminal should be connected to this end of the resistance and the negative terminal of this voltmeter should be connected to the other end of the resistance. So, let's do it. Let's flip the voltmeter. Right? Now, we have connected the voltmeter properly. Alright? As you can see, only one terminal of the rheostat was connected. Hence, no current will flow through it. And rheostat will not have any role to play in varying the current in the circuit. Right? This indicates that the rheostat is wrongly placed. Therefore, it should be placed in series with the circuit. Right? So, let's do it. Alright, so now you can see the rheostat is connected in series in the circuit. Thus, the circuit is corrected. Therefore, this is the corrected circuit diagram which we should draw. Alright, now what can be the use of this circuit? We have an unknown resistance here, right? So, to find the unknown resistance, we can vary the current in the circuit with the help of rheostat, measure the current and note down the corresponding potential drop across the resistance X. And by using Ohm's law, we can find the unknown resistance. Alright? But today in this session, we have done only the circuit correction. Okay? So, the result is components which were wrongly placed in the circuit diagram were identified and the given circuit diagram was corrected. Alright? I am sure you must have understood this activity very well. That's all in this session. See you next time.